Hello, friends. Robert Bevan here, author of the Caverns and Creatures series of comedy fantasy novels and short stories. With me is Sam West, and today we're talking about the feet lightly armored. We should bring back your idea for the bad feet videos, because this is a stinky feet. Stinky feet. This yeah. is, yeah. This is a really short. It is technically three lines, but one is fluff. You've trained to master the use of light armor, which is a lie. You've been trained to, use, to master it. You've trained to use it. Because this just increases your strength attacks by one to max to 20, which is normally pretty good. If you have anything else here that's meaningful, you take this over to ability score improvement. But you get you get nothing. You get proficiency with light armor. That's it. There's no bonus AC. There's no extra cool thing for wearing light armor. It just says, hey, you can wear it now. Fun fact, almost every single class in the game, by default, has proficiency with light armor. All right. There are three exceptions, correct? Uh, two come to mind. I, don't, I think is, is Monk also not proficient with light armor? It, it not according to your what you wrote in the uh, written review. Sure, I just checked their proficiencies. Definitely is not. So yeah, wizard, sorcerer, monk are the only three classes in right. the game that do not get light armor proficiency. Now, do any of them want light armor proficiency? Um, no. All right. Well, yeah. Like I said, I read the review already. So I feel like I'm cheating. Sure. So but, uh, monks yeah. by Wizards, default. Yeah. All right. Go ahead, monks. Monks by default have a thing called unarmored defense. So while they're not wielding armor. Or wielding a shield, their AC is 10 plus their dex mod, plus their wisdom modifier. And if that wisdom modifier is two or more, it is already as good as the best light armor in the game. No, no, d- all right, so I guess, no, it can't stack, because if you're wearing armor, you don't get this. Correct. Uh, uh, sorcerers and wizards both get access to this lovely little thing called mage armor. So if you really want a decent AC, mage armor gives you AC equal to 13 plus your dex mod, which is better than every single light armor in the game. <laughs> Don't cost a first level spell slot. So, like at first level, I don't love having to spend spell slots on mage level or mage armor. I don't love having to do it to like fifth, sixth levels where I'm a little bit more comfortable spending a first level spell slot on that kind of AC just because you feel like you have more resources to spend. But like if you're really pinched for things to do, by fourth level, you don't hate spending a first level spell slot on an AC of 13. That's like or AC of 13. A, a, a nice long duration, no concentration. Yeah. So, like, uh, and it's, it's certainly cheaper than uh, spending a feat on being able to wear light armor sure is maybe there's a window where you start with like a 15 dex on a sorcerer and you're like i really 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 don't want to have to forgo one of my five spells to take mage armor so you take lightly armored to get a 16 dex and the light armor proficiency so you can use studded leather then you're like i got an ac of 15 no that's no <laughs> absolutely not Straight I'll just initiate get, will give you mage armor if you're really pressed. yeah that 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 too uh yeah, this is a, not a real feat. I can't believe they printed it. I, I Wizards of the Coast, this is this is to you. This is everyone else can leave now. This is directed only at Watsy employees and designers. Don't don't, don't leave. <laughs> Fine, that you can listen in too. But here's what I want: if their premise, and then I'm the new patch fifth edition they're releasing the five five D and D one whatever the hell it's called. If their mission is to make this game more accessible, trim the fat, cut the garbage, get feats like this out of the book. If you want the Gen Z's TikTok brains that can't focus more than 15 seconds on anything and don't want to read, cut the crap that isn't good so there isn't things that people can read and go, what does this do? Why would I put this on my sheet? This is a waste of book material. Or Plus, improve it. Yeah. You can it was easier for them to cut it. <laughs> How would you improve a feat that's objective is to give light armor out? I don't know, like you said at the beginning, you, you give you a bonus to wearing light armor or something. Uh, I don't know. I just, I mean, I get why it's here. Like they have like heavy armor, uh, me, what is it called? Middle, medium armor. And, uh, you know, they, they want to include light armor. But, uh, yeah. Do you, have you ever witnessed somebody put any of these three feats that give you this proficiency on a character sheet? No. Neither am I. Why are they in the books? No, no one uses it, them anyway. Make it worth our while. There uh, are... Okay. I think access to resources and tools like this attached to feats fundamentally doesn't work. Because you need to start with these resources generally for them to be valuable. For them, because you're going to build your character with what resources they have access to in mind, right? If you're playing a character with medium armor as their main focus and you want to have them be a strength based character, so we're talking like none that exist. Okay, so we're using a light armor character like a ranger. Maybe you want medium armor on rangers too because you've got like the defensive ones that give you a slightly higher AC than light armor. It's kind of moot. But like you build those characters with the ability scores in mind to address that armor. 
If you start at first level, you have to know your fourth level feat is dedicated to something that gives you proficiency in a toolkit, and then up or in in an armor uh, an armor set. Then up to that point, you just have wasted stats. You have just stats that aren't benefiting that in a fashion that you'd like, or don't necessarily help the other elements of your character that you would want to help to make them matter more, right? You're investing in features that you don't currently have and can't really weaponize for what is a side grade, because this game is full of ways to make everyone have a decent enough chance of surviving, and it's full of ways to make your AC reasonable on no matter what class you're playing. You shouldn't need to invest in a feat to get a different way to do it whenever every character is built to have ways to do it already that they would want to do. All right. You know, we are not disagreeing on this being a crappy feat. I I can't think of any off the top of my head right now, but I think, you know, if if, if Watsi were to ask the community, how could we improve uh, light weapon, lightly armored, the lightly armored feet, I think they'd get a few, a few suggestions. I think it's a different feat at that point, right? So when I say a different well, yeah, feat, I mean, it serves a different purpose. It's not, this feat's job is to provide light armor proficiency. Its job is to give characters a new way to gain AC. There aren't characters that want that. There, That isn't yeah. a valuable resource. If this or were lightly armor master, if, this, get it. if there was a payoff for being lightly armored, now characters would take this that would have never taken it before. That like you would, It goes to an entirely different market. That feat yeah, doesn't exist I'm fine with that. So this feat shouldn't exist, is what I'm saying. Uh, yes. But if you improved it, make it for an entirely new market, uh, I'd be fine with that. That's uh, that's exciting. If we new make options. a feat that rewards building light, uh, lightly armored to some level, I'm here for that. I'm okay. down with defensive lightly armored, defensive medium armor, differentiating them a bit, giving little like rewards for defensive play patterns. That all could be cute and everything like that. Feats that simply give up proficiencies don't really have any place in 5th edition. They just right. don't... We, we are don't on the do same page. Yeah. This is something you get in your background. This is something you get as a, as your you know your species, you get it as your class. You get this in every way but a feat. You should never have to spend a feat on this. You never want to spend. You never will. Yeah, uh, Lovely Armor is one out of five. Utter trash. Hawk garbage. Yeah, no, no disagreement. Waste of paper. One star. Would not recommend. Except All that right. I had to read it. <laughs> All right. Um. Yeah. I challenge you. Find find the good in this commenters. Um. I don't. I don't think it's going to happen this time. All right. Well, that was lightly armored. Hot garbage. Thank you, Sam. And thank you, everyone, for joining us. Let us know what you think down in the comments, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching. If you found this helpful, informative, or entertaining, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the like button below. You needn't smash it. A gentle tap will suffice. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to the channel. And make sure you check out the links in the description where you'll find my Caverns and Creatures series of comedy fantasy novels, Sam's full review of the spell, and other fun things.